long as you do your job. Hey, you don't have to We're worry not about filming me doing yet. my job. We're not filming it. You don't have to act. <laughs> I've done my job a long time ago. Hey, guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, you guys have seen the pictures. We laid the hammer down on them. I did. My shoulders hurt from sitting that dang hook. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Nope. This Hang is on. a family show. We got some deep fried action about to start. Um, you guys might know him, he's a friend of mine, Jason the Cajun Ninja, sent me some fish fry mix. We're gonna wear it out today. Use a, a like kind of like a thin beer batter. It's really a good way to have a great fried fish. We're gonna do it blackened, shallow fried, and deep fried. I got jalapeno cheddar uh, sweet style cornbread. We'll make hoe cakes out of it. I got some par potato, parboiled potatoes. Got some onions and jalapenos for some, uh, some potatoes on the griddle. My, oh, dad's got, dad brung over some uh, collard greens. And you guys saw that short that I made the other day. Uh, pinto beans with ham hocks, bay leaf, you name it. This is what it's all about. Welcome to our channel. You guys watch this. It's time to go, ain't it? <laughs> Let's get this thing on the road. <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> Cost you a little bit, just didn't teach you everything. Get your mess out of here so I can get my mess going. All right, first things first, let's use this. Let's use that one. I'm going to. All right, beer batter. We got to hydrate. <laughs> <laughs> the shell cracker says we hydrate. You're just going to add it without, you don't even care. We don't have a if measuring people cup. People worry about measuring cups. <laughs> we don't know what that is. <laughs> I would say more than that. Now, when you make a batter like this and you dredge it into a dry dredging, you want it to be thinner than what you would think. Even though it says beer batter, make it thinner and we're gonna show you why. So we're getting ready to put some more in here. Blue Moon. We might break the internet with you on here today. <laughs> well, you aren't too. T tell them how when we went fishing, you almost had to run into the nursery room because my right shoulder was hurting. From setting that dang hook. Oh, get him in the boat. The worst netter you've ever seen in your entire life is this one right here. He could care less what you have on the other end. You know, you're lucky I even went you in my boat. <laughs> you wouldn't have caught all them fish if you'd been in the back where I was. You gotta remember, you're going forward and you're on top of the fish before I ever get there. And you if don't you never learn to get your hook out of the minnow bucket and put it in the lake, you might catch something. Yep. <laughs> I can say that, Kata. No. <laughs> I wonder uh, how many people are going to request subtitles for your dad's <laughs> country accent. <laughs> they think I'm bad. Now you guys know where I get it. Pretty thin. You like it? I think that'd be fine. So how much of the can Almost is left? Almost a whole can. Almost 16 a whole ounce. Can. I think the can, I think the box actually calls for 12 ounces. Probably does, but you wanted it thin, so we thinned it out. But I, every time I've made this, I've always added more. We just want to use the whole package. If we need more, we'll add more. All right, so this fish right here, let me show them what's going to happen right here. We're going to just dredge it in the batter. Just make sure you get a lot of the drippage off. Full coverage. That's why you want it thin. Because all this right now is just the coating for that fish fry from the Cajun Ninja. Do one of the ribs next. And when I stick it in there, if it burns, it burns. Okay, Dad saved some rib cartilage somewhere. Where'd you put it at, Dad? Right here? Is that it? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. All right. So this is kind of the method, right? Thin batter, thinner than what you would expect. Drain off a lot of that excess. Acts like a real good glue. Our buddy uh, Steve, uh, you guys remember when we did the uh, fish tacos? My dad has actually met Steve when he visited me in Wyoming. Um, got us onto this method right here where you do the beer batter first and then dredge it in a dry. All right, Dad, you got it from here. I got it. You got it? You need to get All them right. potatoes going. I, I knew you were telling me to do something. Here we go. I got some uh, three large rusted potatoes just cubed. And then um, parboils, just to knock off some of that rawness so they don't cook as long.
I uh, I mentioned before in the holidays. Let me show you this. Um, remember when I told you to use the advantage of your outdoor grill system or grill system, no matter what you have. We have our pit boss on low. I've just got one burner right here on low. I got the hood down. So it's so cold out here that when dad's frying fish, we're gonna keep the sheet tray. Let me show you. The sheet tray with the cookie cooling rack. Dad's gonna put the fish on here. The grease will drain down. Then we'll put this on the pit boss. And with that lid, you're able to keep it as like a, like a warming station. Just little tips and tricks along the way. Son, you get these things a little bit higher, you're going to see a little milk truck stand now. You can, um, oh. <laughs> I thought you meant to. I thought you meant to. No. Oh, I saw a goose across this counter. <laughs> For the viewers, he just said, it's all I can do to <laughs> see across this counter. <laughs> uh, we got about two tablespoons of butter. I'm just going to season this up with a little all-purpose seasoning from Pit Boss, the bold burger rub. Get some garlic, some butter, salt, pepper. And then come back in here with a little of that Heath Rawls garlic jalapeno. Ooh, it smells good. All right, here we go. Some onions, some jalapenos. We're gonna get those started. That's a crazy question. Here we go, here we go. I'd love to hear this. For all the people, that are looking for the recipe. We really don't have a recipe going on right now. We do have a recipe for a cornbread. We're gonna turn this into hoe cakes, but we do have that recipe in a cast iron skillet. But if you guys check out the flattopking.com, that's never even heard of it. We have our recipes listed below for a lot of the, a lot of things that we do. This is more just like a fun day Sunday, kind of like behind the scenes, change up the pace a little bit, kind of like laid back. Ask your question, Pops, what you got? Just lay back, I uh, want to learn a few things, aren't you? Yeah. God, that fish, look how good that fish looks. It's almost like I knew what I was doing. And now then you want to take a little bit of that Creole seasoning. I always do it when it comes out of oil. I would think that you would want to taste that first, because nope. I know one thing, nope. his stuff, I'm tell his stuff is seasoned. You don't like a lot of salt. Jason, tell him. He designed that recipe specifically with not, not to add, mine. <laughs> not to add any more seasonings. Well, we won't. God, look at that crunchy, that steam. Oh man, that's oh man. For all my outdoor lovers out there, what fish and game? What's well, all about? Dad catch, clean, first the boat, <laughs> buys oh, the gas. I can. He'll buy us some biscuit. He wants to come down and do all this for him. <laughs> I know. I've been wanting to get on in a long time. Huh? <laughs> You've been holding back, I've you? been holding back. <laughs> I said if I ever get on with the videos, they're going to find out about it. All right, we got a thin cut of oil down. Put down some butter. Just put it on here? Yep. Just like when you make your cornbread, you want a lot of butter or oil. Bacon grease works really well. Um, I prefer to have my cornbread crispy. I love the crispy edges. You want to season your potatoes as you go. Take a couple of those nuggets, test them out, make sure they got your salt, pepper, whatever flavoring profile you want to go with. Here, let me show them over here, honey. What dad just did. See that? 
pretty hot under there. Keep that fish warm, keep it domed. Perfect. Using your outdoor equipment to your advantage. You can do that with a pellet smoker. Um, you can use that with a charcoal grill. You know, a little bit goes a long way. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. Mm. Those are gonna be, be good. They're gonna be good. I just got like a little uh, cornmeal mix with a little seasoning, a little fish fry mix. Not a lot. You don't need this, do you? No. Okay. I'm gonna take a piece of walleye. Just a simple dredge. This is what we call shallow fry. I do this quite often with my kids so they don't have all the batter when we fry them fish just to keep it a little bit more healthy. Just let that sit there and absorb on the side. And then we got a piece of catfish that we caught as well. Of course I caught it like all the other fish. <laughs> Then from here, we're hit um, the Cajun Ninja's paya seasoning. It's a little spicy. Now this is our blackening, okay? So no breading, just a, just a light bit of seasoning. I'm gonna layer the seasoning. He's got a little spice in his. A lot of spice. To each their own. Come back in with that Creole Cajun butter from Heath Riles. Got a good flavor profile, I like it a lot. And then just for a little texture, we got some of that uh, Pit Boss. I don't use it often, but I can't even pronounce it. Saskatchewan rub. You guys know I can't pronounce the dictionary as it is. Our kids actually really like that. Yeah. It just adds like a little bit of a uh, texture to it. You wouldn't really think about it, but it does. I think it helps with the crust. Yeah. Let's take those bad boys off. That is my favorite of the whole meal right there. Those are incredible. The Johnny Cakes? Yes. Oh, whether, cakes. whether you make them like that or you make them in a cast iron skillet as cornbread. Yeah. That is my favorite. I just got this side of the burner on low right now. I've had to alternate my burners to heat them up, cool them down because it's so cold outside. I'm just going to let the potatoes rest on there. I'm going to jack these two sides up. About a good medium heat. We can start our fish fry because that won't matter. I'm going to go right in the middle with these two. Same concept, a little butter, a little bit of oil. All right, since the middle is my hottest part of the griddle, I'm just gonna move that oil over, give it a good landing zone. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is beautiful. That light golden crust right there. Absolutely love it. Now, if you didn't have anything on the grill to start with, you might want to add a little bit of oil, but since I had so much residual oil left over. Beautiful color on that blackening fish. This fish right here is actually done. Woo, we have to go play the fried fish. A little bit of shallow fry. 
We'll put that blackening right there. All right, guys, there you go. Sunday supper at its finest. We had a blast. Of course, Dad came over to help. We got in the way like normal. Just remember, if you guys ever want to go fishing, just let us know. I'll be the one that catches fish. Dad will be the one that gets the fish off. That's how like, the system kind of works. Here we go. Pinto beans, onions, bay leaves, salt, pepper, garlic, and some ham hocks. Some collard greens that Dad made. We got our hoe cakes. Which are the best part. Basically cornbread, buttermilk, uh, green chilies, jalapenos, a little cheese, and some sugar. We got a little slaw, I like mine a little bit uh, less dressed. So it's just got some apple cider vinegar, some uh, mayonnaise, salt, pepper, celery seed. You guys see me do the potatoes. And of course the fish is the star of the show. You guys make it how you like it. You guys commented. I hope I did you justice with how we did the fish. You guys are interested, we have a join button down below with the membership program. It's where you guys can help with the channel, help dad's retirement fund. Check out The Griddle Group on Facebook. It's where we talk about griddles, talk about fishing, talk about anything you want to. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. That's it. These are my favorite. You gotta Don't make these. It.